Hey guys, so this is a stretch, a very good stretch. It stretches out your whole lower part, half of your body. Um, and I highly encourage you, if you're someone who does a lot of exercise in, that you should carve out at least one um, day a week or once every other week of a whole session of just nothing but completely stretching your whole body. So this one here is called an apex routine. And I got taught this routine about six years ago and I still use it every other week at least. It's that powerful. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to talk, uh, walk you through it, pause it, walk through it, pause it. Okay, so the first thing you need to do, get yourself a mat. I encourage you to uh, take your shoes off so you're only using your socks or you're in your uh, bare feet. And that way it helps you stay as natural as possible. The next thing you do, you put one leg in front of the other. As you can see here, I've got my right leg in front of my left leg. And then you do this. You lean into it but as you can see here as i've leaned into it lean forward my knee is currently going over my ankle and it's not giving me a natural line so what you need to do if it happens if this happened you then need to readjust yourself as you can see knee over the line you got to put your foot out a little further and then lean forward again until you've got a nice parallel line this way your body's in a better position and it's going to reduce the injuries if there are going to be injuries what this does you're going to feel a complete stretch within your hips in your left leg in your right leg in your hamstrings in your quads in your buttocks all everywhere okay and then what you do you hold this position for a minimum of 10 seconds so um, i say minimum of 10 seconds because i don't really need to put a maximum because some people might stretch for 15 seconds and it's good enough, but some people might need to stretch for 25 seconds. Of course, don't go too much into depth, but if you haven't done this for a long time, you're going to have to stretch a lot longer. If you do this every week, then you might only need to stretch for 12 seconds. So once you've done stretching for about 10 onward seconds, you then go on to the second part, which is you get your elbow and try and get as close as you can to your heel. Now, you might not be able to get it anywhere near your heel, but just create the movement so push your elbow towards the heel as far as you can and then you'll feel a, a deeper stretch a deeper stretch within your groin your um, quads your left quad and under your right hamstring and then again you hold that position for a minimum of 10 seconds once you've done that you keep your body low to the ground and then you twist left away from your knee but keep your knee in position so don't let your knee follow you and what you're trying to do, you're trying to figure out, find a pain point. So when you, as you can see, I've gone left and you want to keep moving until you really feel a pull. As soon as you feel that pull, that's the position you hold and you hold that position for 10 or plus seconds. And as you're holding the stretch, it's going to feel real tight. But the longer you hold it, you're going to feel it loosening up nicely. And then once you finish holding, you then walk yourself over and you go over to the right side over your knee. Try and keep your knee in the same position. Don't try and let your knee go left or right or follow you. And you're going to feel another stretch. So that's the part one. The next thing you do is then you lean back. And you sit on your heel. Some of you might not be able to sit on your heel. So what you do, um, you can put your foot on the ground. So it's in between your leg and do the same. And then what you want to do, you put your toe up to the air or towards you. And just lean forwards and then hold. And hold for 10 plus seconds and feel the nice stretch on the back of your hamstring. Then once you've done that, after 10 plus seconds, you want to open up the insides of your legs like so. And then you want to stay low to the ground and you want to go one way. So as you can see, I've gone to the left first. And the same as you've done before, you try and figure out where the stretch is or where the, the pull is the most. And you hold that position. Then after 10 plus seconds... You move over to the other side, so you cross over your foot, and the same again, hold for 10, and then you can play around with it. So you can push your toe one way, you can push your toe the other way, and then you can feel different stretches from the inside to the outside of your leg. So that's the next one. So then we go on to part three, which is known as the swan. So you, you sit up, you get your knee up, you drop your knee to the side of the ground, opposite, away from you, and then you push 
the leg behind you a straight back. You want to keep your hips nice and straight. You try not to keep your, um, be on the side of your hips, but keep them nice and straight. And you just lean forwards and you just relax. And this is the nicest stretch of the lot as you hold. So I'm just showing you a different position. Try again. So knee up, down to the ground. You push your leg behind you like so. Keep your hips straight and then you go low to the ground. You might not be able to go all the way to the ground, but just go as far as you can. Again, after 10 seconds, what you do, you go one way, doesn't matter which way. You use your arms to walk around, so you could want to keep as low as you can to the ground. Again, you hold the stretch. Once you finish, you go to the opposite side. You figure out where that um, pull is, the, most, the biggest strain is, and then you hold it. So I'm showing you again. You go one way, and then you go the other way, like so. Hold it. And then that's one side, so you double one side of the leg. You shake it off, you give it a little relax, and then you move straight on to the next one. So I'm going to go through the routine quickly so you can see it again. So uh, foot out, lean forwards, lean into it, hold. Once you finish holding, you get your elbows close to your canty heel. Then you hold again. Keeping yourself low to the ground, you go one way. And then you hold again for 10 plus seconds. Once you finish, you go the opposite way. And then you hold. 10 plus seconds then you move on to part two so you come back to the center you sit back you put your hip bum on your heels if you can toe up towards you lean forwards hold 10 seconds plus and then you open up your legs again in the middle get that gap keep it nice and low and you go one way until you feel the pull and then you hold 10 seconds plus then you go the opposite way, hold 10 seconds plus. You can remember fit around with your foot. I didn't do it this time, but then you'd go back up into the original position. Your knee goes away from you down to the ground. Try and keep it as parallel as you can. Push your leg behind you, keeping your hip straight, lean down, hold. And then you go again one way. Use your arms to walk you around, hold. And then you go the opposite way. Walk your arms around and you hold. And this is what you call apex stretch. It's very powerful. I learned this when I first started learning about personal training, taught by a good instructor, um, and I've used it ever since. So I highly recommend, especially if you're doing any, uh, a lot of endurance training with using your legs, because you're going to get a lot st quite stiff. And use this as once a week or once every other week to completely stretch the whole bottom half of your body. Enjoy.